If you need an accurate, precise osmometer which is reliable, but you don't have a lot of samples and you don't have a lot of money to spend, stay tuned for this. Hi, my name is Andre from the John Morris Group, and if you don't want to miss any of our content, please subscribe to our channel. And push that bell button you can see on the screen right now, and you'll be notified as soon as we upload new content. But today we're looking at the FISC 210 osmometer for clinical and research applications. So what is it? Well, if you need a no-fuss entry-level osmometer that you can depend upon, this is what you need to know to operate the FISC 210. The FISC osmometer uses a freezing point depression technique, and this is the standard technique used to measure osmolality by all high quality osmometers. That gives you the total solute concentration of an aqueous solution. This information is useful for those working in clinical, emergency, medicine, medical research, biotechnology, pharma, manufacturing, food, beverage, and a range of other industries. Whilst the FIS 210 isn't the newest osmometer in the FISC Advanced Osmometer range, it has proven itself to be a rugged, reliable workhorse, which is accurate and precise, and also still very quick. All you need to run a sample is about 20 microliters of fluid. The first thing you need to do is draw a sample of the fluid to be tested into the 20 microliter pipette, which is included. You insert the tip into the small diameter portion of the sample tube, positioned to the side, not directly in the middle. Smoothly eject the sample without splashing or spraying. Visually inspect the sample, and if there are any voids or bubbles in the sample, or if the sample is sticking to the side of the tube, you'll need to tap the tube lightly to unite the sample to the bottom of the tube. Next, gently place the loaded sample tube into the sample well, and then fully lower the measuring head into the sample tube. From here, it's as easy as initiating the test by pushing the test button on the user interface. While the test is running, it's always a good idea to wipe the pet tip with a soft, lint-free, non-ionic paper tissue. Depress the plunger when wiping to clean the piston inside the pipette tip. The test itself will take 90 seconds to run, and once complete, the display will show the results in a format of osmolality XXX milliosmol. Once you record the result, raise the operating head into the positive stop position. You then lift the sample probe, remove the sample tube from the cooling chamber and discard. Use a probe cleaner included in the FISC part number 110825 sample kit to clean any residual sample from the probe. It's really important to do this so you don't get carryover. If the sample is allowed to dry on the probe, it, it's necessary to clean it with distilled water or alcohol because you will get salts built up. Between the test samples, leave the probe in the raised position. Be careful when wiping the sample probe that you do not push or pull or on either the tip or the body of the probe or you can cause damage. Once you've completed running your set of samples, it's best to place a clean tube in the chamber and lower the probe for safekeeping. You'll find a link to all the details and specifications about the FISC 210 below. But if you have any specific questions or comments about this product or indeed anything else from our catalog, please leave a message and our team will get right back to you. Don't forget, if you like the content we produce, feel free to leave a thumbs up or share it with somebody you think might find it interesting. We'd love to see you subscribe to our channel. And remember, John Morris is here to help you succeed with technology. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.